Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually create animations or how to animate your UI or UX designs that you've created, in, let's say Figma, uh, into principle. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and import them. And then also some of the problems that you perhaps may face when importing some of the designs. And then also how to create such a beautiful animation like you see in front of you. So I'm going to restart it. And as you can see, we have the the devices coming in then we have some background animation as well and then we have particular sections coming in as well one more time it looks like this we have the button animating as well then we have some of the sections even the background in the in those are animating and yeah that's pretty much it so the first thing you need to do to get an animation like that is to go into your frame uh, or go into figma select the frame that you want so on this page i have a bunch of frames so i'm just going to select the one that i want I'm going to go into principle and I'm going to say import. It's automatically going to detect the file that I'm in and it's going to say, hey, do you want to import the page which is going to contain, let's say, all of the frames that exist or do you just want to import the selected frames? I'm going to say I want to import the selected frames. One important thing to note about principle is that it actually converts most of the stuff that you have in Figma or even Sketch for that matter, I think, into images. So once you're importing them, even the basic text layers are basically converted or are converted into images. One thing that, as you can see, the image here is messed up, the wildlife, uh, the bear has disappeared, and I intentionally left that particular issue out to let you know how to fix this. So the first issue for the image is, since this image is actually included in this featured frame, it sometimes is pushing the content down. And in order to fix that, you can obviously reduce the size of the image, or you can just basically create a frame around the image and then resize it. So now that I've done that, I think that probably looks good. Uh, and now we can import it again. Similarly, for the beer, let's just see how that's gonna work now once we actually import it again. So I'm gonna say I wanna import the selected frames and hopefully this particular issue should be fixed. One other thing, and I can actually do it, so I have this, uh, background which actually includes a bunch of SVG assets in it as you can see and I one thing that I probably want to do is I want to instead let's say actually import this as an image so I'm going to say I'm going to rasterize this selection as you can see I just did it uh, and let me just do one thing I want to remove the clip content and I want to rasterize I, I want to rasterize it now so I'm just going to say that maybe I'm going to pick the image from here to here and then probably here and then <clears throat> here and I'm going to rasterize this image. So now that I've rasterized it, as you can see, it's raster. It's just an image. I'm going to um, enable the clip content again. So the reason why I did that was it's obviously it was including a lot of images, which I don't really need. So I'm just going to go ahead and now import my selected frames again. And as previously it was loading, I think like 111 images, and now you can see it's just loading a few 46 images. So the import is gonna be much faster. And it's also going to be much easier for us to move a single image rather than moving the whole thing. So as you can see, this particular issue is fixed. I'm just gonna go ahead and increase this dark overlay. The image, as you can see, is just positioned a bit incorrectly. So I'm just gonna position it how I want it. And here we have our design, which looks pretty similar to the design that we had. Uh, one thing, obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it to dex the desktop and let's just go ahead and start some of the animation. So for the start of the animation, I wanna say, I just wanna go ahead and first of all, obviously duplicate it. And for the start of the animation, I'm just gonna press, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and basically hide most of these things. I'm gonna press, and let me just go ahead and actually uh, go here and then hide them. So I, I now just have the these two mobile devices and I can just go ahead and position them outside of the screen. So now they're outside of this screen. I wanna go ahead and hide these as well here. And I wanna say that once I go into this design, I want this to auto animate to this. And as you can see, this is what happens. It's auto animating, but it's happening really fast. By default, the animation duration is 0.3 seconds, which is obviously very fast. So I'm just gonna say that it's gonna animate in one second. 
And as you can see now, it looks much better. One other thing that we're gonna do is for this particular screen, we're gonna say that we're gonna again increase the opacity here. And one important thing for the background, we're gonna do this really awesome effect where we're gonna actually scale the background down, which is why I intentionally made it larger in the, in the Figma file. So now we're gonna say the same thing. We're gonna say that this is gonna auto animate to this. And as you can see, it it, something like this happens. So obviously we want to tweak the duration here as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make this maybe one second as well. And let's just go ahead and enlarge it and see how this looks. So it looks like this. And it looks pretty awesome, honestly. One thing I wanna do here for the animation is I wanna maybe say that this mobile device is actually, or sorry, this button is actually gonna come uh, from the bottom and it's gonna animate here. So I'm just gonna include the button uh, or I'm just gonna go ahead and view the button here uh, that exists probably here. So here's the button. I'm gonna say it's just gonna scroll from the bottom up. And let's just see how that looks. So obviously the button animation is also happening really quickly. So I wanna say that the button animation is gonna be one second. So let me just go ahead and actually change all of these to one second. It's currently 0 0.9. And I wanna say that this button animation should happen after all of the animations are done. So maybe here. So let's just see how that looks. So one important thing to note is the opacity also changes for this button, right? And we don't want this opacity to change. So I'm gonna say that this button here is also gonna have an opacity. And by default, it's gonna be, let's, it's also gonna turn, uh, it's also gonna be visible after, let's say one second. And let's see how that looks. So now I think it looks good, though I think the button can start animating at maybe 0.5 seconds. <clears throat> so I think this looks pretty good. One thing I wanna do, I wanna include the button a bit at the top. So it's not coming too far from the bottom. And as you can see, this animation is looking splendid in my opinion. So now let's go ahead and actually animate <coughs> some of the other elements that we have. So on this screen, we have obviously this element and I'm gonna say this element is actually gonna come in from the top. Then we have these elements and then we have these elements, right? So if we just go ahead and animate this, obviously this happens. So by default, I wanna say that after this particular animation is done, we wanna go ahead and we wanna tweak the other animation that we're talking about. So I'm gonna say this particular thing is just gonna be visible here. Similarly, this is also gonna be visible and this one will also be visible. And in order to, let's say, tweak where they're coming from, we basically just have to change it here. So I'm gonna say that this footer is gonna come in from the bottom. These images are gonna come in from the side. This one, this featured image is also gonna come in from the side. This header can come in from the top and then these explore categories can also come from the side. So now let's just have a look at it. So obviously it doesn't work because I haven't linked it. So I'm just gonna say that this is also gonna be auto animated. And as you can see, all of this happens really quickly, which is something that we don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tweak these things here. For the header or maybe for the footer, I'm gonna say that this footer is gonna animate in let's say one second as we have been basically doing. So here we have the footer animating really slowly. Actually, we can go from the top, right? I think we can do that. So we can actually go from the header. We can say that the header is the one that's gonna animate the first or the first time. So it's just gonna be one second. So now, so the first time we have the header animating, then we're gonna say we have the featured section animating and we just wanna go ahead and actually increase the opacity, in, increase the duration here. So we have this stuff happening. One thing that I obviously wanna do is I wanna say that this featured, this featured thing here is also gonna have its opacity reduced and it's actually going to be increased here. So now as you can see, we probably, well, we don't, but I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say that the opacity here is gonna be less. And then <clears throat> here we have the featured section. And let's just see how that looks. 
So as you can see the opacity, obviously nothing happens with the opacity. I'm going to say that the opacity is going to be become visible here. So it's this is also going to take let's say one second. So we have the header coming in from the top. Then we have this featured section coming in. And maybe the featured section can also come in from the top instead of let's say from the side. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to grab this featured section. I'm going to place it pre the way it was previously placed and let's see how that looks. So now just the opacity is changing obviously and maybe we can say that it's also going to come in from the top right. So maybe something like this. But one thing that we have to do now is we need to say that this featured section is also going to take let's say one second but it's going to happen after 0.5 seconds of the header animating. So let's see how that looks. So we have the header coming in then we have the featured section coming in and maybe instead of 0.5 it can actually be the whole one second. Let's just I'm just experimenting with things in front of you. I'm just trying to see how this is going to look. So I think now it looks good. Now for the explorer categories what do we want to do here. I'm just going to go ahead and actually in, increase the opacity of this whole thing and I'm going to say let's say if this uh, this explore category section was here by default what I want to do here is maybe I want to have well maybe it's fine maybe we can the explore section can actually be uh, coming in from the left and increasing in opacity so let's just have a look at it <clears throat> So we have <clears throat> the header coming in, then we have the featured coming in and then for the explore categories let's just go ahead and actually select the explore categories and as you can see these options get autumn this layer gets automatically selected. I'm going to say this is also this animation is also going to run for one second and this maybe this whole these three things can actually happen after my featured section has animated. So let's see how that looks. So we have the header coming in, then the featured coming in, then the featured categories or the explore categories coming in. And after all of that, we have the upcoming <coughs> retreat section. So I'm just going to rename this to upcoming retreats, retreats or upcoming section, maybe just upcoming is fine. Similarly, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say we have the upcoming section here just so it's consistent. The naming has to be consistent in order for us to go ahead and tweak the animation. So now I'm just going to go ahead and increase the duration of this to one second and I'm going to say this thing is also going to happen after the explore categories. <clears throat> so now we have the header and the footer coming in, then the featured coming in and then the upcoming retreats coming in. So this looks awesome. One thing I also want to do is here I want to say that the opacity is also going to be let's say uh, going to be tweaked and I'm going to say that the opacity is also going to increase here. So actually I'm using shortcuts to increase and decrease the opacity. If you want to make it one you can say one. If you want to make it 100% you can say zero. Stuff along those lines. So now here we have most of our animation done and let me see if we need any other tweaks here. Probably not but as you can see it's extremely powerful and we're actually saving a lot of time if we were let's say doing these animations in Figma it would definitely take a lot more time but definitely the benefit with Figma is that <clears throat> we're actually we actually wouldn't have to rasterize these things and these animation can work automatically. So that's one. Uh, let me just go ahead and quit this. So one other thing that I probably want to do on this animation is I want to go ahead and I want to let's say grab my what is this section called? I want to grab my featured section. So let me just go ahead and actually grab the featured section here and I'm going to press enter just to get to the background. So the background is probably here. I'm going to say the background by default is let's say going to be at the top. And then here it's just going to come at the bottom. So let's just see the background animating as well. So the background animation obviously isn't working here or anything. Nothing is happening on the background. So I'm just going to go here or maybe it is. We just don't see it because it's happening very fast. <clears throat> so in order to see what's happening, I'm going to grab the background. 
I'm going to open the timeline, obviously. I'm going to grab the background and see if the background is selected. Now, as you can see, it is selected, but obviously it's happening way before the actual featured animation. So I'm going to say that this maybe happens here. So let's just see how that looks now. <clears throat> as you can see, the, the background is animating, but since it's happening uh, as the animation is going, it isn't that visible, so I'm going to say I want it to happen maybe in the middle of half of the animation. So maybe something like this, right? Uh, let's just try it again. <clears throat> or maybe it's actually happening with the animation, but it's just longer, right? Maybe we can make it two seconds and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks great. I think this animation for the most part is done. I think this background animation uh, that we just did for this particular uh, background should also be a bit slower. So let's just go ahead and actually grab the background animation. I'm gonna just grab this image and we're gonna jump to the item that's selected. And I'm gonna say that this whole thing is actually gonna go till two seconds just so we can see how this looks. This looks really smooth, really, really smooth. Similarly here, we have some great animations going on and maybe these explore categories and the upcoming retreats can also be slightly slower. Uh, currently, as you can see, the upcoming retreats <coughs> and the, let's just go ahead and first of all, let's just grab it. So I'm gonna grab the upcoming section here we have the upcoming section and it's currently happening at one second. I want to say maybe it's going to take, let's say, two seconds. Similarly, I want to do that the same for the explore categories maybe. Two seconds I think is a bit too much. Maybe 1.5 should be fine and then for the explore categories we want to do the same one thing as you can see it's really easier to go ahead and rename them so i'm going to rename this to explore and i'm going to do the same thing here <clears throat> explore just so it's consistent and as soon as i make it consistent as you can see the keyframes that i initially tweaked appear and i can go ahead and tweak them again i'm going to go ahead and tweak actually let's just see how that looks so in order to actually see it, I can also go ahead and actually navigate the timeline to see how it's going to work. So it's going to appear like this, but let's just go ahead and actually see the full animation. So I think this looks pretty well now. And let's just go ahead and actually play it again and maybe full screen for you to see. So we have this beautiful animation coming in, the header and the footer, the featured explore categories and the upcoming retreats. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hope you got an understanding how principle works and some of the power that, that it offers. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon. Do comment if you did not understand anything or want me to go a bit slower and even in the basics of, it, of principle. And I can do that as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Take care. Bye.